Hi! Oh my goodness. Ugh. Hello and welcome to Vlogmas. Another day, another shoveling session. Ugh, I'm like, all the snot is coming out of my face. So gross. Um, I just took the dog on a walk and after that I shoveled for a while because we got another, I don't know, about half inch of snow last night, so yeah. But that's not enough to like bring out the um, crew, like the association crew or whatever. And speaking of, so the association that I'm a part of, like if it's like more than an inch, they're supposed to come, but whatever. And then last night, it actually didn't snow. Oh, well, I guess it did snow yesterday, but it was like kind of all day and it was probably like, I don't know, an inch and a half, two inches of snow, but definitely enough for, you know, like accumulation and whatnot. So I got home from work yesterday and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna shovel. So I spent all this time shoveling and then they came out to like shovel the walks and plow the driveways at 10.30 at night, by the way. And it was so freaking loud. It just like, was just booming in the neighborhood. Like it was just so loud. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like it is, and it was like super late at night too. I was already like in bed and everything. I'm like, what is that freaking noise? I'm like, oh wait, it's the snowplow people. Okay. But it wasn't like the city snowplows. It was like who we hire or who, whatever the association hires to uh, do our plowing. Doyle gets a treat. Get it, Doyle, get it! Yeah! And uh, so yeah, that's what's happening here. My hair is all sorts of staticky now because of the hat situation. Nice and cold face. That's all right. I wanted to show you guys something that came in the mail yesterday, but I declined to show it because I didn't really even like realize. But um, do you guys like my new camera? For all of you guys wondering, this is a marble camera. Kind of cool, right? Super neat. It was on clearance at West Elm, and um, I ordered it on the internet, and I think it's super cute and fun. And I think I'm gonna put it maybe like up there somewhere, or I have like these little shelves. I might put it there too, but it's like totally my aesthetic, right? It's got the black, which is kind of gray, and then it's got like this piece here, which is more of like a beigey tone, and then the white. I'm like, okay, like I need that in my life. Plus, I talk to a weird black box every day anyway, so I think it's by high time that I did that. And I also got my Chrissy and Designs Celebration Binder. Whoops, something just fell out of it. Um, I have not even opened this yet. Like I opened the box because it was like covered with snow yesterday, but um, I'm gonna get whatever fell out of this thing. Here, I'll show you this. But bam, this is uh, what's in there, part of what's in there. And um, I'm gonna do a, not a review, but just like a first impressions kind of a video. I do have her celebrations binder from last year that I love. And to be honest, I need to use more of, but um, yeah, so I'm kind of pumped about that. But I think I'm not gonna film it now. I'd rather just film it on Sunday when I actually have like good lighting because the lighting in here is so frustrating. And I've actually been looking at lighting online. And I think after the first of the year, I'm gonna get like my poop in a group and finally upgrade some of the lighting in my house because that light fixture right there drives me nuts. It's super glary, which drives me a little bit crazy. I don't really mind the fixture, it's just the lights are so bad. And I've changed the lights to like a softer light. There was like clear bulbs in there before, but now they're like a frosted, like soft white. That helped a little bit, but it's so glary when I film videos and I needed to get something that has like a drum shade or something like under, like on the bottom of it. So it's just kind of like a diffused light is what I want. So I think I'm gonna get some lighting and um, 
actually one of my ex-boyfriends that I don't think I've ever talked about on the channel, like long time ago boyfriends, um, he used to be a commercial electrician. So he knows how to do like all this wiring, like mumbo jumbo. So I actually got in contact with him, like we're still buds, but um, I got in contact with him I think as soon as I bought the house or like right before I bought the house and I said like hey would you ever be like willing to come over and take a look at the lighting with me when I'm ready and um, you know install it for me and you know like I'll pay you or whatever and he said yeah just let me know whenever you're ready so I want to kind of save up for that because I know it's gonna be spendy but it's like my next big like home improvement project and also up here if you can see the lighting it's like this track light. It's so freaking ugly, you guys. So ugly. I wanna get some sort of like, maybe pendant light or something, but I don't really know because my biggest fear with this house, biggest fear, is that one of those freaking light bulbs goes out and these ceilings are super freaking high. I know they have those like pole extension things, but I just don't trust myself with that kind of stuff, you guys. Like. I mean, I'm handy, but I don't know if I'm that handy. And maybe it's like goof proof. I have no idea. I've never used them before, so it kind of freaks me out. So I want to get something that like, whoops, I can't show. I want to get something that like hangs like down, like straight, but I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know. But all the lighting in this house besides the bad, the bedrooms, the bedrooms, need to go because they're just, uh, they're not good. So I actually looked online at Ikea and found a couple of things, but I want to see them in person first. Plus, um, I want to invite Billy over. Um, that's his name. The guy I dated before that's an elect or he's not an electrician anymore. He doesn't like that's not his like primary occupation, but like he has obviously the skill to do it. But I want his opinion on things to see like, if that would go with the wattage and like all that stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is after the first of the year, invite him over and maybe um, I have like a Menards in my area. There's also a Lowe's that's like not, I mean it's far away, but it's not like that far away. It's maybe like a 20 minute drive or something. And um, look at lighting with him to kind of like understand my vision of what I want and not actually do any installations that day and just look at everything so he can give me a little bit of guidance, I think, is what I wanna do. But yeah, the lighting kinda drives me nuts. But I do actually like, which is odd, I do like this, the ceiling fan right there. I do actually really like that. Um, apparently you can get like a light kit or something for it. I don't think I'll ever get a light kit for it because it doesn't need it, plus just no. And um, it's like another light bulb I have to change and I don't really want to do that. I'd rather have like a Christmas tree. <laughs> and, you know, I can illuminate my areas with a Christmas tree. Should like keep it up year round, right guys? Like, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. New favorite ornament, by the way, are these. You can get these at Target. I think they're two for $4, I want to say. But, um, new favorite ornament of the year, gotta say, because it's like, reminds me of my little, whoop, of my tree topper right there that I got from the Pottery Barn, so. Anyway, now my battery light is flashing at me, which means I'm talking too much, and I gotta go anyway, because I need to eat something for dinner, and then I need to edit again. Um, I started the next vlog, but I didn't finish it yesterday, so I'm hoping I can get through a vlog or two and get those up for you guys, because I am a couple of days behind. But anyway, um, I will see you guys in a little while. Well, hey, it's like several hours later. I took my makeup off for the day, and um, I just haven't been motivated, you guys. Like, just, I haven't been motivated. But um, it's pretty late, it's like 10 o'clock or so took the dog out to go to the bathroom and see that thing behind me? I don't know what it is either. It just arrived from Overstock and I have an order with Overstock, but <laughs> I didn't order this thing. It's like, I don't want to show you guys my address cause like creepers, but like it's like a five foot rug that's like a circle. So I'm currently 
on a chat with the Overstock, like, resolving people, so it's going good, I guess, but, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure my shipping label just got put on somebody else's order and then my stuff went somewhere else, but I don't know where it went. So yeah, so I'm talking to Charlene right now at Overstock and um, sent her some photos of what I was sent and the shipping label and all of that stuff too. So yeah, she's just confirming the right order number and what I actually ordered and if I have other things that weren't because I ordered two things I ordered a crock pot like a bigger crock pot and um, then I also ordered uh, another one of those Moroccan puff poof things um, it looks exactly the same as this it's the same one just I want to so it's that thing right here but um Overstock was having a sale and it was on a deal anyways I figured why not but <laughs> If I can't get here, then that's a problem. <laughs> but this Charlene person is very nice, but I'm pretty sure these are all like copy and pasted answers anyways, because it seems very um, interesting. <laughs> She's very, very apologetic though, Miss Charlene is. She's like, we understand how you feel. We're very sorry. We're going to take care of this for you right away. I've no I didn't say I was angry or mad or anything. I I'm just like, Hey, got the wrong thing. Do you know when my stuff's gonna ship out? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So she said she's releasing an immediate replacement instead of waiting for the returned product to reach the warehouse and then releasing it, so that's good. Um, and she says, can you please verify the shipping address for me to send the replacement? Well, yes I can, Charlene. Hold on. Just put in my address so Charlene has it. So hopefully those will get shipped out this weekend, I'm hoping. I mean, I'm hoping it's here by this weekend because they were actually supposed to be here on, what's today's date? Hold on, I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening right now. Let's see. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be here actually until Thursday. So, I mean, if they can have it here by Saturday and do like a two or three day air or something, that would be like fantabulous, so yeah. But um, it was delivered via UPS, so now I have to return it via UPS, and she's gonna have to send me a shipping label. And this thing, I mean, I'm gonna like cover up my address, but this thing is like ginormous, right? I mean, it's not heavy, because it's just one of those like faux fur rug thingamajigs. But like, I don't wanna like review something that's not mine, but I'm like, touching it and stuff on the inside it's like scratchy which is weird because you wouldn't think that it would actually like be kind of like scratchy you think it'd be like really soft but it's really not oh sweet all right so here's what Charlene has to say and she said I have expedited the shipment on your replacement order due to this inconvenience so instead of the standard three to six business days she's expedited it so I should receive it within the next two business days and deliver it on the third business day so basically what is it yeah so I should see it by Friday so that should be good because today's Tuesday night so that should be hopefully good all right so I just wrote please email me the return shipping label so I can get that done because I don't want this thing in my house <laughs> All right, so the label should arrive in a few minutes, she says, but it should, could take up to 24 hours. So I am gonna seal this puppy back up because I was like super confused about it, so I did open it. I'm gonna seal it back up with some packing tape. Hopefully I have some packing tape. And then um, I will print out the shipping label at work tomorrow. And um, hopefully I can drop that off at a UPS store. Or maybe UPS might come to the office too. I don't really, I don't really know. Um, you know, do I even have packing tape? I mean, that's the million dollar question. I don't think I do. I guess I'm gonna have to <laughs> borrow some from the office, I guess, I don't know. So now I gotta like take all these flipping labels off of here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right, so I have to write a return number interesting on the exterior of the package okay and then she said to place it on the outside of the box and ship it back to us you can drop it off at any ups location make a note we must receive your returned items 
uh, within 45 days of delivery. Okay. All right, well, I'll get this done. Um, I'm gonna actually write with like a permanent marker the um, number that she wants me to write on there. So hopefully that gets figured out. But um, yeah, I think this is gonna be the end of the vlog though because I'm like tired and I need to go to bed and it's really late now. And um, yeah, that's it. Sorry, uh, Doyle's already to bed. So I'm not gonna go bug him right now, but I'll uh, make sure to show him again tomorrow. So sorry I had my hood up. I just walked the dog and it was cold again. So I'm always cold. It's like the coldness vlog or something. But anyway, hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.